Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine do or do, is a professional doctoral degree for physicians and surgeons offered by medical schools in the United States. A DO graduate may become licensed as an osteopathic physician, having equivalent rights, privileges, and responsibilities as a physician who has earned the Doctor of Medicine MD degree. Do physicians are licensed to practice the full scope of medicine and surgery in 65 countries, and in all 50 U.S. states. They constitute 11% of all U.S. physicians. As of 2018, there were more than 145,000 osteopathic medical physicians and osteopathic medical students in the United States. DO degrees are offered in the United States at 35 medical schools, at 55 locations compared to MD degrees offered at 140 schools. Since 2007, total DO student enrollment has been increasing yearly. In 2015, more than 20% of all medical school enrollment in the U.S. comprised DO students. The curricula at osteopathic medical schools are similar to those at MD granting medical schools, which focus the first two years on the biomedical and clinical sciences, then two years on core clinical training in the clinical specialties. Upon completing medical school, a DO graduate may enter an internship or residency training program, which may be followed by fellowship training. Some DO graduates attend the same graduate medical education programs as their MD counterparts, and then take MD specialty board exams, while other DO graduates enter osteopathic programs, and take DO specialty board examinations. One notable difference between DO and MD training is that DO training adds 300 to 500 hours studying techniques for hands-on manipulation of the human musculoskeletal system, a system shared in general but not all particulars with chiropractic medicine. Topic. History The practice of osteopathy began in the United States in 1874. The term, osteopathy, was coined by physician and surgeon Andrew Taylor Still, who named his new discipline of medicine, osteopathy, reasoning that the bone, osteon, was the starting point from which he was to ascertain the cause of pathological conditions. Still founded the American School of Osteopathy, now A.T. Still University of the Health Sciences, in Kirksville, Missouri, for the teaching of osteopathy on May 10, 1892. While the state of Missouri granted the right to award the M.D. degree, he remained dissatisfied with the limitations of conventional medicine and instead chose to retain the distinction of the due degree. In 1898 the American Institute of Osteopathy started the Journal of Osteopathy and by that time four states recognized the profession. The osteopathic medical profession has evolved into two branches, non-physician manual medicine osteopaths, who were educated and trained outside the United States, and U.S. trained osteopathic physicians, who conduct a full scope of medical practice. The regulation of non-physician manual medicine osteopaths varies greatly between jurisdictions. In the United States, osteopathic physicians holding the DO degree have attained the same rights, privileges, and responsibilities as physicians with a Doctor of Medicine MD degree. Osteopathic physicians and non-physician osteopaths are so distinct that in practice they function as separate professions. As originally conceived by Andrew Still, the letters DO stood for Diplomate in Osteopathy, and the title conferred by the degree was Doctor of Osteopathy. Subsequently, the degree also came to be entitled Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine. Since the late 20th century, the AOA has preferred that this title be used exclusively. Its members resolved at a 1960 conference, be it resolved, that the American Osteopathic Association Institute a policy, both officially in our publications and individually on a conversational basis, to use the terms osteopathic medicine in place of the word osteopathy and osteopathic physician and surgeon in place of osteopath, the words osteopathy and osteopath being reserved for historical, sentimental, and informal discussions only. A minority of DOS continue to use the old terms, and the American Academy of Osteopathy retains the old usage in its name. Topic. 
Topic: Demographics. In 2018, there were 114,425 osteopathic medical doctors in the United States and 145,343 total dose and osteopathic medical students. The proportion of females in the profession has steadily increased since the 1980s. In 1985, about 10% of do physicians were female, compared with 41% in 2018. Between 2008 and 2012, 49% of new do graduates were females. During the 2011 12 academic year, the osteopathic medical student body consisted of 69% white, non Hispanic, 19% Asian or Pacific Islander, 3.5% Hispanic, 3% African American, and 0.5% Native American or Alaskan. The remainder were listed as other or not entered. The five-year change in osteopathic medical student enrollment by ethnicity has increased by 19% for white, non-Hispanic students, 36% for Asian American students, 24% for Black, African American students and 60% for Hispanic, Latino students. Topic. Education, training and distinctiveness Osteopathic medical school curricula are virtually identical to those at schools granting the MD degree, Doctor of Medicine. Once admitted to an osteopathic medical school, students study for four years in order to graduate. The schooling is divided into the pre-clinical and clinical years. The pre-clinical years, the first and second years, focus on the biomedical and clinical sciences. The clinical years, the third and fourth years, consist of core clinical training and sub-internships in the clinical specialties. Osteopathic medical school accreditation standards require training in internal medicine, obstetrics, gynecology, pediatrics, family medicine, surgery, psychiatry, emergency medicine, radiology, preventive medicine, and public health. According to Harrison's Principles of Internal Medicine, the training, practice, credentialing, licensure, and reimbursement of osteopathic physicians is virtually indistinguishable from those of physicians with MD qualifications, with four years of osteopathic medical school followed by specialty and subspecialty training and board certification. Do schools provide an additional 300 to 500 hours in the study of hands on manual medicine and the body's musculoskeletal system, which is referred to as osteopathic manipulative medicine OMM. Historically, osteopaths subscribe to the view that such body manipulation can bring about systemic healing, a belief which is a form of pseudomedicine. In the early 21st century, American osteopathic physicians have largely shifted their thinking from such pre scientific ideas. Osteopathic physicians who use OMM predominantly use it to treat musculoskeletal conditions, for which there is conflicting evidence about effectiveness. Particular criticism has been targeted at craniosacral therapy, a component of OMM taught at many DO schools, which has limited scientific support. Topic. Examinations Before entering osteopathic medical school, an applicant must complete a four-year undergraduate degree and take a national standardized exam called the Medical College Admissions Test MCAT. Some combined undergraduate, medical programs exist. Some authors note the differences in the average MCAT scores and grade point average of students who matriculate at DO schools compared to those who matriculate at MD schools within the United States. In 2015, the average MCAT and GPA for students entering U.S.-based MD programs were 31.4 and 3.70, respectively, and 27.33 and 3.55 for DO matriculants, although the gap has been getting smaller every year. Do medical schools are more likely to accept non-traditional students, who are older and entering medicine as a second career, or coming from non-science majors. Do medical students are required to take the Comprehensive Osteopathic Medical Licensure Examination, Comlex USA, which is sponsored by the National Board of Osteopathic Medical Examiners, NBOME. 
The Comlex USA is series of four osteopathic medical licensing examinations. The first three exams of the Comlex USA are taken during medical school and are prerequisites for osteopathic residency programs, which are available in almost every specialty of medicine and surgery. Level 2 consists of a multiple choice portion and a patient evaluation exam, 2 PE. Comlex Level 2 PE, is available only in Chicago, Illinois and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It is graded as a pass-fail exam. Finally, Comlex Level 3 is taken during the first year of residency. In addition to the Comlex USA, do medical students may choose to sit for the MD licensure examinations, which are called the United States Medical Licensing Examination USMLE. This is typically done if the student desires to enter an MD residency. However, this is not always required, as some MD residency programs do not require the USMLE from due applicants. USMLE pass rates for due and MD students in 2012 are as follows, Step 1 to 91% and 94%, Step 2 CK, 96% and 97%, and Step 2 CS, 87% and 97%, respectively. This number may be misleading as only 46 due students compared to 17,118 MD students were evaluated for Step 2 CS, Step 3 to 100% and 95%. This number may be misleading, as only 16 due students compared to 19,056 MD students, were evaluated for Step 3. Topic. Licensing and board certification To obtain a license to practice medicine in the United States, osteopathic medical students must pass the Comprehensive Osteopathic Medical Licensing Examination, COMLEX, the licensure exam administered by the National Board of Osteopathic Medical Examiners throughout their medical training. Students are given the option of also taking the United States Medical Licensing Examination USMLE, to apply for some Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education ACGME, residency programs. Those that have received or are in the process of earning an MD or DO degree are both eligible to sit for the USMLE. Because of their additional training, only do candidates are eligible to sit for the COMLEX. Upon completion of internship and residency requirements for their chosen medical specialty, and depending on whether the program attended as ACGME or AOA accredited, holders of the DO may elect to be board certified by either a specialty board through the American Medical Association's American Board of Medical Specialties or an osteopathic specialty board through the American Osteopathic Association Bureau of Osteopathic specialists certifying boards. In February 2014, the American Osteopathic Association and the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education agreed to unify allopathic and osteopathic graduate medical education starting in 2020. Depending on the state, medical licensure may be issued from a combined board, DO and MD, or a separate board of medical examiners. All of the 70 state medical boards are members of the Federation of State Medical Boards. Topic. International variations Currently, there are no osteopathic programs located outside of the United States that would qualify an individual to practice as an osteopathic physician in the United States. Foreign osteopathic degrees are not recognized by any state in the U.S. as being equivalent to American due degrees. Topic. International practice rights The following is an international licensure summary for U.S. trained doctors of osteopathic medicine, as listed by the American Osteopathic Association. Topic. See also Comparison of MD and DO in the United States List of medical schools in the United States Topic. Notes and references
Topic: External links. One do's description on what does a do. Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, D.O. National Institutes of Health.